Okay guys, so Tesla is doing a quite good movement today. I mean, it's not perfect, it's not great, but it is good. And I will explain why to you in this video. I really hope you guys are going to like what we have here. And uh, I see that our community is growing nicely. So let's do a quick recapitulation of what we did in the last month. See, uh, it's gonna take only one minute just for you guys to understand how we think and how we see Tesla. See, it's been a while since I have been telling you guys Tesla is bullish. The mid-term trend, the long-term trend is clearly bullish. Maybe the mid-term trend is a little bit complex, but long-term speaking, Tesla is clearly bullish. And uh, December 16, you may just go to my Twitter. Check my Twitter. This is my Twitter. My Twitter handle, it's the Finance Hydra, okay? Check my Twitter and see December 16. I did explain to you guys why insiders were buying Tesla. That was my main thesis over here. People, institutional money, the smart money is buying Tesla. I think I was the only one who was saying that kind of crazy nonsense thing. And uh, I did explain to you guys using facts numbers, math, and technical analysis. Why insiders were buying Tesla? I did this on this day, okay? December 16, look at this candle, extremely bearish. Tesla dropped 5%. I was the only one saying institutionals are buying Tesla. And uh, in the next day, I did a video for you guys here on YouTube. Its name is Tesla Stock Analysis that's why Tesla will not crash. I really recommend you guys watching this video. This video aged very, very well. And I gave you guys five technical reasons why Tesla is not, was not going to crash and why we found our support level over here in this area. And I set a target at 1208 because it was this gap over here. Well, Tesla hit 1208 this year. So I have to explain this to you guys because last month we had roughly 700 subscribers and right now we are almost 900 subscribers. So yes, our community is growing nicely and I only have to thank you guys for all your support. So if you're new around here, if this is your first or second time watching me, I recommend you to subscribe to this channel. And if you are already my subscriber, remember to click and the like button because you know that our content is good, right? We always have strategies, we always work with scenarios, we always use technical analysis to understand Tesla's behavior and, uh, well, we are quite competent in doing this, okay? So, you know you can trust our work over here, so thank you very much for your support. Now, let's understand how Tesla is right now at this moment. Uh, Right now, before we analyze Tesla, let's take a quick look at the market. Well, look at the S&P index right now. Uh, the S&P index scared the shit out of us today. It dropped a lot. Look at the size of this shadow, but that's the best part of it. Look at the size of this shadow. When we see a shadow like this, what we, I mean, what can we understand from this? The S&P dropped a lot because it was very pessimistic and then, I don't know why, it's, it is not important why, but we see a lot of buy force over here. It is strong enough to make the index go all the way up, climb all its way up to its opening price. When we look at the Nasdaq, we see a similar situation. However, the Nasdaq is even more bullish because the candlestick's body is white, okay? So it is a bullish candlestick. It is dropping 1%, but the candlestick is bullish. What's more, it seems the Nasdaq only dropped to find, to fill this gap over here, okay? So, all right, gap filled. We all know that gaps, they work as supports, they work as magnets for the price, and then, well, the index was as, was attracted by this gap, we filled the gap, and right now we are reacting as expected. That's great, that's a great reaction. Now, why Tesla is not giving us a perfect reaction? Again, it is a very good one, however, 
I rather prefer to see a reaction like this near a crystal clear support level. Right now, to me, it feels like Tesla is not near any support level. I mean, we had this top over here at this black line and okay, we hit this previous top level as a support and now we are reacting. All right, that's quite good, but that's not perfect. Okay, it's not that perfect to me. Uh, it is interesting because this support, this resistance over here was a support over here and it seems it is working as a support over here as well. I rather prefer to see Tesla dropping more, filling this gap, and uh, I believe this scenario would be more uh, would be more realistic to me, and of course it would be a much better opportunity to buy because Tesla would be below the 1K, and uh, and I think we could just buy more shares if Tesla hit this price level again around the 900 940 dollars. However, right now Tesla is reacting good, very good, but there is a problem. Tesla is not completely bullish yet. I mean, if you look in the daily chart, okay, it is a good candlestick, it is a bullish candlestick, the volume is decent, the market is not closed yet, it's 2 p.m. Uh, New York time, so we still have a long way to go. However, if you look in the one hour chart, we still don't see a crystal clear reversal sign, a crystal clear bullish structure. What Tesla needs is a bullish structure. See, Tesla must do this, must do a bottom, a top, and a bottom higher than the previous bottom. And the moment it does a new high, okay, Tesla reversed the short term trend. Tesla is in a bull trend right now. Right now, Tesla is in a bear trend. We are below the EMA. We are doing lower highs, lower lows. Look at this. High, low, high, low, high, low. I don't know. As, as, far, as far as I know, this could be just a pullback to the EMA before it can drop more, maybe to fill this gap. So that's why I am still a little bit skeptical on Tesla. I understand the indices are looking quite good, especially the Nasdaq index. Now, this might tell us that, okay, maybe the bearish trend is over in Tesla and, uh, and, and in other tech stocks. However, this is not enough to me at least. I rather prefer to wait for some confirmation instead of trying to catch the knife while it is dropping, okay? I, I am not trying to buy the deep, but of course, let's try to buy the deepest point possible as long as we see confirmation, as long as we see a bullish structure. That's how real traders, real speculators behave in this market. It's not buying because it's dropping or buying because it's going up, which is even crazier to me, okay? Let's buy because we see a good technical movement, we see a good technical entry point, and we can understand how the market is behaving in order to do our own thesis. Regardless if it is a bullish thesis or bearish thesis, we always must build our own thesis and build our own plan. Okay, so guys, let's wait for a, for a bullish structure. Now, you might argue, you might argue, and I, I am not gonna disagree with you. Oh, Nathan, but in the 15 minutes, it seems we are trying to do a bullish pivot point, right? A lower high and a lower low, yes. You are right. In the very short term, this is how Tesla is behaving right now. And this is a good sign, okay? This is a promising sign. Uh, if Tesla actually triggers this pivot point, probably it's going to seek the 1085 next. However, we still don't know uh, how Tesla will behave after this. I mean, as, as, I, as I told you, the midterm trend is very complex. Now the moment is not easy. There are times that we see easy moments, okay, like uh, one month ago. Okay, one month ago, Tesla was very easy. We had a crystal clear target at 1208. We saw, we saw the smart money buying. We had many technical reasons to believe that we found a support level over here. That moment, Tesla was easy. Right now, Tesla is not easy. I would put the difficulty of trading Tesla right now in maybe uh, seven out of 10. This was one out of 10 or even zero. This was a very easy movement. This was a very moment to trade. Right now, it's more complex. If you look in the weekly chart, let's analyze the long-term trend. I would be very happy to see Tesla moving sideways for a while, uh, uh, waiting 
for the 21 Ima to catch up with the price and offering a stronger support level in, the, in, in a weekly basis, that would be the ideal to me. However, in the one hour chart, okay, we are still trying to react near support level. We'll see how Tesla will behave over here. Uh, of course, I really, really wish we could trigger this double bottom chart pattern as we identified this Friday. Uh, last Friday, Tesla was looking like this, okay? I was very excited about the idea of a double bottom chart pattern. This didn't happen, okay? Us traders, we have to adapt ourselves in this new scenario and try to understand what's next for Tesla. Right now, I think Tesla is still a little bit more bullish than bearish, okay? Right now, if, if you ask me, there is the possibility that Tesla will continue, resume the bearish momentum, but if you ask me, it is a little bit more bullish than bearish, and uh, of course, I would not buy without some confirmation, but if you really wanna buy Tesla right now, I mean, you can't help yourself, you must buy Tesla. Guys, buy a quarter position or a half position, don't go all in here in a, in such a complex scenario like we are living right now uh, buy one quarter one quarter position if we see tesla dropping more all right if it fills this gap okay you may buy another quarter if it confirms a bullish structure near this gap all right you may go all in set a very tight stop loss and that's it forget about tesla right now i think although it is still in a bear trend I believe we are gonna find our support level over here because because of the way the indices are behaving okay it is a very risky play very again that's why I do not advise to go all in but uh, so far the trend is bearish so this is only this is only my opinion okay the effect is the trend is still bearish but uh, if we see a good reaction on the indices like we are seeing right now and if we see Tesla doing a bullish structure over here it's gonna confirm a very nice buy opportunity. Let's just wait. Probably I'm gonna update you guys this Wednesday, okay? Probably I'm gonna record another video on Tesla this Wednesday. I'm, I'm not gonna wait until Friday, so keep in touch, all right? Remember to subscribe to this channel, support with your like. Thank you very much for your support, my friends. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. Bye-bye.